Well, I haven't done a vlog every week like I thought I would. In fact, it's, oh, this is, my face is huge. This is not enough. And I have no makeup on. So you're welcome. <laughs> um, but this is my day off after having a couple of weeks where I had like 10 hours or more days at work. And um, I'm, uh, I'm taking it easy today. God, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about this mug. Speaking of mugs, I bought a teapot. This is my teapot that I bought for 300 yen. Three bucks for this little cutie. And that's one of the things I love about Japan are the dollar stores and how that they are, not, well, 100 yen stores, um, how the, the quality of the products in these stores are awesome. I mean, like, they have so many different types of things that you can get. You can buy, like, pretty decent makeup for 100, 100 yen, so a dollar. You can buy um, lots of snacks. You can buy um, essentials for your kitchen, like all kinds of different um, cooking ware and utensils and even, like, spices and different curries and stuff. At Daiso, did I say that already? Daiso is the name of um, this 100 yen shop that I love. And there's one in Shinsaibashi, which is like the main shopping district in this in, um, in this area. Well, one of them. Um, and this Daiso is like three stories, three floors of 100 yen uh, goodies. And it's amazing. Um, so anyway, anyway, I bought this teapot, and I'm about to make myself some tea. I also, oh, you have to see this too. I bought this little sugar container. How freaking cute is this? Sugar container. Reminds me of the one from Sword in the Stone. A little sugar pot. But if you've ever seen Sword in the Stone, the sugar pot has a little attitude, and it's great. It reminds me of that. Anyway, so... Going to Tokyo soon with the hubs. He's never been. And every time I go, I am extremely uh, intimidated by the sheer amount of people that live there. And just the lights blinking in your face and the cars and the... It's just, whoa. It is, it's very much how I feel when I go to New York, which is why I don't go there very often. Um, but Tokyo is even worse because I feel like there's just very little, very few places that you can get to where it's kind of peaceful. And that could be a complete ignorant assumption because, again, I don't know Tokyo very well. But uh, the goal is to check out some things that I haven't been in the past. I'm going to Disney Sea, which I love. It is the most beautiful Disney park, in my opinion, on this planet right now. Uh, and I've been to all of them, so I can honestly say with that with a with a solid opinion. Uh, it is gorgeous. It's like this Mediterranean-looking um, entrance, and then you go around, and it's all these areas that are sea or water themed really cool definitely uh, recommend going to Disney Sea if you have to choose between Disney Sea Disneyland Disney Sea all the way um, and they also have Ariel's grotto area which is like this feels like underground kind of thing where it's like you're under the sea and it's flipping awesome and I always go to the actual area where it's like Ariel Ariel's cave you know shower her trinkets and uh, her whatnots a plenty or whatever, however the song goes, I forget. But because the main reason is because there's a huge statue of Eric in there, just like in the movie, and I have to pay homage to this gorgeous statue of Eric because he's my favorite Disney prince. Even though BuzzFeed's quiz did match me up with Aladdin, Aladdin, and I I agree with that. I do think that it, me and Aladdin would make a good couple, but you know, I have Prince Gil. And he's better than all of them, so... Oh! Uh, I'm talking to you now as I warm my water up. The kettle. I have the kettle on. I have way too many British friends right now. Maybe not enough. But I'm being heavily influenced to drink a lot of tea. And it's good. It really is. I do miss my good old southern sweet tea. But I'll take this warm, hot, whatever tea. You know. It's in my blood somewhere to like it. Um, what else? Uh, I just don't even know. Uh, my, my, my mind is going blank. I know I'm really into Walking Dead right now, which I was afraid to watch, uh, beforehand because I'm a scaredy cat. 
you know, I didn't want to get freaked out when it's time to go to bed, especially because it was around Halloween. I was thinking maybe this is not a good idea, but guys, I'm addicted. It's good. It's real good. If you didn't know that already, it's good. And it's not too bad. It's just gory. There are some scenes there. It's kind of like it, it surprises you, but honestly, it, it since you go into watching the series with that mindset that, hey, something's probably going to jump out and scare the shit out of somebody at some point, you, I, anyway, I'm rarely surprised when things happen like that. But anyway, look at this. Um, this is, the, this is the, this, it's like a tablecloth thing that I found in Dozo, which is this room that we have here where I live, where people just basically, when they're moving out, they'll throw this stuff in this room that they don't want anymore and you can just take it. So I found this weird tablecloth map thing and I think it's Scotland. Anyway, random, random. Well, I think my tea's ready or the uh, water is ready anyway, so I'm going to drink this tea. I know I didn't say that much about Japan this time, but, um, you know, there'll be another time, hopefully soon. You have yourself a good day. Bye-bye.